Now, <clears throat> well, let's talk about this. Ada and Zilla. Lamech, he has got two wives. Mr. Random wanted to uh, talk about the fact he has two wives. The first person we see in the Bible who has two wives is Lamech. And Lamech is an extraordinarily wicked man. Let's look at this. So and this actually, this is actually one of the first poems that we have in the Bible um, as well. So it says, um, let's see here. Lamech said to his wife, right? So this is, I'm going to teach you a little bit about what's called Hebraic parallelism. Get this book. Because in it, he's he explains how the poets or how how um, biblical poetry works and how you can recognize uh, in the biblical text when poetry is uh, being made and the different kinds of poetry that are in the Bible. You should get a chance, if you can, get this book, The Art of Biblical Poetry. <clears throat> but here you see uh, what's called Hebraic parallelism. Hebraic parallelism is when you have uh, one you have one line, okay, and then the second line reveals more information about the first line. So, if we were to arrange this, Ada and Zilla hear my voice. You wives of Omek, hearken unto my speech, for I've slain a, a man for wounding me, and a young man for bruising me. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. Okay, this is how you would see this as um, uh, if you were to look this up as uh, as poetry. If you were to look at this as poetry, so the first line, Ada and Zilla, hear my voice. Who is Ada and Zilla? Right, ye wives of Lamech. Oh, Ada and Zilla are the wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech. Okay. So we know more. It's not just his voice. He's not crying out, hey. He's about to give a speech, right? So we have, and it's not just hear, but listen. You understand? See how it's intensified? Ada and Zilla, ye wives of the mech, we are more, more specific. Hear, more than just hear, listen. My voice, not just my voice, my speech, right? The second line builds and adds on to the first line. For I have slain a young, a slain a man for wounding me. Okay. Okay. Wow. So he kills a man. Okay. And a young man for bruising me. So what kind of man? A young man. What kind of wound? A bruise. A bruise. So if Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech 70 and sevenfold. Right. So 77 times. Um, this is, this is, uh, this is, this, this tells you the character of Lamech, right? This right here is the whole reason for eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Okay. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth means the punishment needs to fit the crime. Okay. So the question you have to ask is, is Lamech, because we have to judge the characters of the Torah by the Torah itself. Okay, is Lamech a righteous man? Right? Is Lamech right? No, he's not. Right? We uh, we we can see how evil uh, Lamech is because he he kills a, a young a young person for bruising him. But check this out. So we see that Lamech is a murderer. Right, and we see that Lamech is also a polygamist. Okay, so um, and we also know that what he's saying is he's he's saying that God punishes Cain seven times, right? But he punishes Cain, or he punishes not Cain, but he punishes whoever opposes him seventy-seven times. So he claims that his wrath is even higher than God's wrath. That's what's happening in this text. Okay. Um, so you guys need to understand that the first polygamist is a really cruel and evil murderer. Okay. So the Bible does talk about polygamy, but as of yet, we've not seen polygamy mentioned in a positive light and we will not see polygamy mentioned in a positive light even once in the entire Bible. 
Okay. And <clears throat> we'll, 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 we'll prove that as time goes on, but we have not seen polygamy mentioned in the positive light. The first mention of it is, is about by a, uh, a uh, is brought on by a murderer. Thank you, random for pointing out the, uh, the polygamy discussion, because I think it was worth talking about. 